so we have added uh, some of the statements here and what was the objective to extend this program is that we need to find out whatever the algorithm has predicted are correct or wrong so definitely we will need a I mean whatever the test samples we are using we should also be knowing in which category in which category they fall into so manually we have to have the test labels also just like we had a trend labels okay so <coughs> so the one way to test data have a labels is 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 manually inspect and maybe because this is just for the validation purpose we need because we need to see whether whatever is will be predicted by our algorithm is correct or wrong so to do that validation we need to have a test data which also has a labels so let me put here the test labels and now we will see what has been predicted for all the five samples these are the five test samples so in a one go we will see what has been predicted okay. it's running seems okay so it has come here and let me step and we have a uh, this test prediction classes are just pass average just pass so just just repeated it uh, I mean it's a, a repeat of uh, what uh, results were shown in uh, this loop but now whatever is uh, prediction classes are there that need to be compared with the test labels which we are done manually or which we are brought forward by some other means uh, when we call this uh, when we call the test labels which are you know it's it's a manually then the manually or by, by by some other means we have brought forward their labels that is also called as a ground truth because if we know the ground truth then it will be easy to validate whether the test labels test predicted labels by algorithms are correct or not and if they are correct how many of them are correct because right now in a test data we have a five test samples so what is going to be the accuracy so accuracy is nothing but the correct predicted number of correct predicted into 100 divided by the number of test samples so here the number of test samples are the five and that is how this is the formula for calculating the accuracy but before that we need to find out whether the test labels that is a ground truth is is same as a test prediction or not and that is why this loop is going to be there this loop will tell us how many samples are correct counted correct predict correctly predicted so let me just put here and now <coughs> correct count is a 5 uh, length of test label is also 5 so it's going to be 100 percent you can see 
okay so the test accuracy percentage is a hundred fine that's a one way to look at this program however we there are the two things we can do in this program the first one is all the train data and test data and their labels let's keep it in let's keep them in csv file or excel sheet and then read from there because normally whenever the requirements from comes from the industrial clients that then the data will mostly available in in a excel or the csv that's a one thing second thing we need to find out we need to make a uh, some functional modules so let me just make a new file let me save this call is KNN util dot py and make this all files so that dot py extension will be there with this file so let me have Let me have this model control X and let me put this in a div KNN class prediction. Okay, so definitely train data is going to come here we will also have test FV so let's put a test FV and then return prediction class function which is nothing but the KNN class plot let's bring it out here and now this is not a function from this file so we will have to import this file import KNN utils KN and therefore we have now KN but we will have to pass the data so what is that the test FV and train data okay S not just that but we will have to give a train labels also Here also we'll have to make a change the train levels. Yeah. So if 
press save all go here okay so if I call this function I'm going to get so now let's run this function and this time we are not going to debug because we have a confidence in what the functions we have made and that's the reason I'm going to run this function and maybe we will get a repeat of this whatever was printed in an earlier one okay so we got it run and we got the same result as a previous run when there was no function there was no extra file okay so but making a file and keeping the most of the functions out there gives us a very modular approach of programming and then this function can be reused anywhere and whenever we want in that particular project so apart from learning a KNN classifier programming or implementation of the KNN classifier we also today learn how how another files function can be called and we can make uh, another files with the with the different different functions and calling the another file so that's it for this video